Good day and welcome to MeCat's Minute. Today I'm going to show you some basic swordworks tips and tricks. Alright, so let's get started. Now, I've created this sketch. Now, there's just a few things I would like to show you. One thing is the trim or extend entities. Now, most of you do know how to use a trim, so just use, say, for example, the power trim and drag a line, cross over it and remove it. Now moving your mouse pointer back over the little red dot, it returns that line. So this is how the trim works, but what I want to do is I actually want to go and extend that line. It needs to be extended all the way up to that line. So what I can do is I just hold in my shift key, select that line and actually drag it onto another line that you want to extend it to. And then just release it. And that creates that line and extend that line. So the same for that one, hold in the shift key, drag that line all the way up to that line and there it goes and it automatically creates all the needed relations all those type of things for you then another thing that I would like to show you is I want to add an angle to that specific line now the angle needs to be 15 degrees and it needs to be measured to a vertical line which I currently don't have so I don't want to draw the line what I can do is I can actually just go straight to the small dimension tool I then select the line itself and select that starting point of that line. Then it gives me this little option there. So from there I can then decide in which quadrant I want to measure that angle. Let's say for instance I'm going to select this line and I can then from there add the angle which is going to be 15 degrees. Okay. And then I've created a nice quick easy way for an angle. Then what I want to do, the last example is, I need to add a dimension from that line, from that point, to somewhere where these two lines connect. So basically where there's supposed to be a virtual shop. Quick easy way to create a virtual shop is if you select that line, control that second line, and with those two lines selected, I then go and create a point. And that will then create a nice virtual shop for me which you can then go and use to add a small dimension and measuring from that line or that point to that point to give me that distance. An alternative method creating virtual shops is if I go straight to my small dimension tool first I then right click on that specific line and then use the option called find intersection. Then I just need to specify I want to find the intersection to that line so I just select that line and it automatically creates a virtual shop and it selects it already for me as well. And then I just add the dimension from there to there, which is then going to be 80 millimeters. Right, so then if I exit the sketch for now, I've created the rest of these components. And the final thing that I would like to do is I want to add some fillets. So I'm going to use a fillet command. Let's add a fillet with a radius of 1 and I'm going to select that face but now the problem with this is selecting a face selects all the edges including those inside edges as well. Let's leave it for now. Let's click apply there and ok. So what I want to do now is I want to actually take all these fillets the one that I've created and I want to copy it onto certain edges. Now what I can do then is I just select that fillet Control C for copy Select that face and control V to paste it. So then I don't have to go to the feature again. I just basically take an existing fillet, copy and paste it onto a specific edge. But now I want to remove those inside fillets. So what I can do then is if I go to the fillet command, I'm going to use a fillet expert. I'm going to go to the command change and I'm going to select the fillets that I would like to change or maybe remove. So let's select these four. Then on the left hand side there's an option that says remove, I'm going to remove it and it's going to remove only those four that I've selected. And there we go, that's my part that I want and I hope you enjoyed it.